decided to go with Star Jumps or Jumping Jacks. Go! If Star Jumps or Jumping Jacks don't suit you, then just jump on the spot and march on the spot. It's up to you. Circles forward, warm the shoulders up. We're going to do quite a bit of body work, quite a bit of overhead work today. <coughs> Dress there. Right, so next one, just a bit of a stretch on the back of the body. So we're going to do touch toes or as close to your toes as you can get. Don't worry if you can't get anywhere near your toes, as long as you're stretching out the back of your body. Doesn't matter. Now, because we're going to do a bit of boxing in the hip finisher at the end. Left foot forward, right foot back. Just throw some punches, keep your stomach really tight. So brace, your abdominal muscles. Twist it through the upper body, hands nice and high. Just hard and fast punches. Get your heart rate up a bit. which will just allow you to get right down there. We're going to try and get quite low on your squat. Keep your chest nice and proud. It's just a warm up, so go reasonably slow on your squats. We're going to be doing quite a lot of squats in the workout today. If squats don't suit you, you will be familiar with my bridges. Do those instead. Rest there. One more round on the warm up. We're going to go into lunges now. Lunges don't see you, go back to doing touch toes. Or choose a different exercise of your choice. So you can linger in your lunge and just give it a bit of a stretch if you need to. Actually, there's no way. No any lunges that we're working out today. We've done quite a lot of lunges recently. There's no thrusters either. There might be one or two burpees, you never know. I do like the burpee, Donna. Right then, so we're going to do the core work. So uh, for the core work today, we're just going to have a nice lie down. Not saying it's going to be easy, but let's just have a lie down. Let's get your mat or something soft to lie on. Two moves. Let me grab my remote control before I start. Right, so I'll just demonstrate the two moves. You can practice along with me if you like, and then um, we'll do them together. So Tabata, 20 seconds work, 10 second rest or transition period. So I'm going to do the first exercise for four rounds and then switch on to the second exercise for four rounds. So you're going to lie on your back like you're going to do a glute bridge. So you're going to get your heels close to your back, knees and hip distance apart. Press your hands, let your thighs and suck your stomach muscles 
in really hard so your pelvis tilts a little bit and you're flattening or eliminating any space between your lower back or the mat so you can't get your fingers in here. Palms on your thighs, you're going to breathe out and crunch up. So you're going to slide up and touch your knees and then slide back down again. You should really feel the tension of the stone muscles as you do that. So yesterday I did the workout that I posted. I think there was like two or three hundred sit-ups in that workout. So I can really feel it on my arms this morning, which I like. So that's knee sliders or coddles or crunches. So we're going to do four rounds of those 20 on 20 off. And then for the last four rounds, you're going to get your legs out long. Hands just lightly by your sides. And we're going to do leg raises. So you can lay, raise your legs straight up in the air. Like that. Okay. So leg raises for four rounds. Um, Sheila McLean's watching, so is Rasheed, Trisha, Michelle, hi everybody. Right, so we're ready to go on the knee sliders in 10 seconds. Right, so line on your back, suck your belly in really tight, hands on your thighs. Three, two, one, go. So make sure you crunch it right up so those hands touch your knees. Get a lot of tension on those stomach muscles. Blow the air out on the way up so it just really flattens your stomach. You should really feel it in the stomach muscles. Last one. And rest. 10 second rest. Just let that air relax and take some deep breaths. Just keep lying on your back though. Three, two, one, go. Sliders. So really suck your belly in really tight, get that tension in your stomach muscles. Go for it, crunch up as hard as you possibly can. A really big squeeze at the top. So blow out at the top and breathe in as you're coming down. And rest there, right. So legs out long. Shift so you can see me. Hands out to your sides. Three, two, one. Leg raises now. So the hardest version is to have your legs completely straight and hover your feet off the floor at the bottom. If that's too tricky for you, please just pull that little bend in your knees. So try not to go too fast with these. Try and really control it with your stomach muscles and rest. So we've done one round of that, we've got three more rounds to go and then we'll finish the core or the abs workout. Leg raises are hard, so just do what you can. Really suck that stomach in really, really tight and just utilise those stomach muscles to control your legs on the up and on the down. Again, just flattening your lower back to the mat, trying to eliminate any space there between the lower back and the mat. Rest. Two rounds left. We're nearly there. Two more 20 second blasts on the abs. Get ready. Go. Ten more seconds. Come on. Stomach muscles should be really hurting now. And rest. Right, one more round got this. And your arms on fire. Three, two, one, go. And rest. 
Well done, so that's your arms or your core workout done. Just take some deep breaths, get the oxygen back into that area. And then just grab a drink. You've just got to make sure you're staying really well hydrated today because it's, well, it's scorching here. I don't know what it's like for people that are watching in Scotland and places like that, but it's proper scorchy over here, which is nice. Right, so we're going to do the upper body workout now. So for a while we've been doing like 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off with a lot of the exercises. Um, so you, you need to kind of make things a bit progressively harder. So this time we're going to do a ladder workout. And this time on the upper body we're going to do an ascending ladder. So we're going up the ladder. So we're basically going to do two moves. 20 seconds on each move, 20 seconds rest. And then the next round, 30 seconds on each move, 30 seconds rest. Next round, 40 seconds, 40 seconds rest. So three rounds. It's going to take five minutes. Okay. And there's two moves. So I'll show you what the moves are now. If you've got a chair or something to sit on. Please grab that now. So I'm going to demonstrate with dumbbells and I'm going to demonstrate with kettlebells as well. So first move is overhead press. So you're going to sit down, you sort of perch on the edge of your chair. You're going to get your dumbbells resting on your shoulders, palms facing forward. And you're going to press up to straight arms at the top. Draw the dumbbells back down, press up to straight arms at the top. You'll, have, you'll feel you having to really engage your core because you sit down. So it makes it harder by sitting down. So if you're standing up, you can do it standing up. You tend to do like a little, a little dip and drive with the body or the knees to help you or cheat. Okay, so that's how you do with the dumbbells. With the kettlebell, just one ball facing the ceiling. Like that. Okay, so it's gonna be 20 seconds overhead press. And then you're gonna have just a 10 second transition period. So it's not a rest. It's just a transition period into the next exercise. So the next exercise is a tricep extension. So getting one weight above your head like that, gluing your elbows to your ears, full bend at the elbow, reach the weight right down your back, and then press up to straight arms. Okay, so you should feel that tension on the back of your arms and your bingo wings, and your elbows should stay glued to your ears at all times. And then 20 seconds of that, 20 seconds rest. Then 30 seconds of each with a 10 second gap in the middle, 30 seconds rest, then 40 seconds of each, 10 second gap in the middle, 40 second rest. So that's the ascending ladder on the upper body. Is everybody good to go? So I'll set the clock now. So start the 10 second countdown and then we're gonna do 20 seconds overhead press, 10 seconds to adjust the weight, 20 seconds tricep extensions. I'm regretting now loaning my lighter weights to other people because I've just got heavy stuff left. <laughs> right, so get ready for the overhead press. If you've not got a chair, stand up. Three, two, one. Overhead press, tight core. Keep that core really, really tight. And really press the straight arms at the top and then control it on the way down. Feel all those muscles activating as you're lowering the weights down in a nice slow and controlled manner. Don't just push them up and just let them flop down. Don't rely on gravity. Okay, stop. Just grab one weight. So I've gone in five seconds. Drive the weight overhead. Glue your elbows to your ears. Three, two, one. Tricep extensions. So we're going to be doing this for 20 seconds. Okay, so full bend at the elbow, reaching right down your back. Press into overhead. 10 more seconds on this. My triceps are well burning already. Three, two, one, rest. So we've got 20 seconds rest. And then we're gonna go into doing 30 seconds of each exercise. I'm gonna grab my light weights because otherwise it's just gonna kill me. I've already done this workout today. Get ready. Three, two, one, Go, so 30 seconds on the overhead press. Just really keep an eye on your posture as you sit down. Don't rest your back on the back of the chair. Just have your core and your stomach sucked in really tight. I can really feel the burn on the upper body already there. Really. 10 more seconds, come on, we've got this. One, 10 second transition period, and then we're going to go into those tricep extensions. I'll side, tend to side a little bit for that so you can see. Three, two, 
One, let's go. 30 seconds of the tricep extensions. Obviously, if you got to the point where you literally could not even do one more, what you would just do would be have like a little breather, a little break, and then you would just join back in again. Okay, so we're halfway there on the time with this one. 10 seconds left, come on. Nearly there, really feel the burn. You're gonna get 30 seconds rest this time. It's the good thing about the longer work period, you got a little longer rest period. And rest. So 30 seconds rest, give your arms a really good shake. So I'll demo on the last round using a kettlebell. Um, obviously you could use pretty much anything heavy for this. So you've got 10 seconds left on your rest. We've got 20 left. So 10 left on the rest and then it's 40 seconds overhead press. You're gonna have to dig deep for this one. You can do it though, feel the burn. Three, two, one, go. So if you're having the kettlebell or the weight in front of you like this, you just got to make sure you move your chin and your nose out of the way as you drive this, the weight straight up. And then at the top, I like to kind of put my head through at the top just to align my ears with my arms as opposed to constantly having your head in a bit of a tip up position. 20 more seconds. Come on, I've done 20 already. Well done. Nearly there. Okay, 10 more seconds. And then just get a 10 second transition. And then we're going to go into the tricep extensions. This is the last round on this. Okay, so really stick with it. Rest. Tricep extensions for 40 seconds now. Two. One, go. So you should really, really be feeling that burn in the upper body now. My triceps are going to be like in bits tomorrow because I did absolutely loads of tricep dips and press ups with my corporate clients this morning. Like a shitload of them. And I'm like seriously regretting it now. <laughs> 10 more seconds, come on, you've got this. It's burning like hell, but just try and ignore it. Just plow on. Five seconds, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Ah! Right, so we'll just sit there, take your 40 seconds. Give your arms a shake. You've probably just got total like spaghetti arms now. I hope nobody was planning on like washing and blow drying the hair or anything after this, because that might be a slight impossibility. Right, so that's the upper body workout done. 20 more seconds left on the rest, so just grab a drink and just chill for a minute. It's hot. Right, 10 seconds left. And then I'll go through what we're going to do on the lower body. <coughs> right, so lower body, we're going to do the same sort of thing. We're going to do a ladder workout, but we're going to descend the ladder this time. So we're going to start with the 40 seconds work, 40 seconds work, 40 seconds rest, then the 30 seconds and then the 20 seconds. So it should actually feel a wee bit harder, um, easier, sorry, so it's getting progressively easier as you go down the ladder, hopefully, um, psychologically anyway. So there's going to be two moves, so you might want to grab your, um, grab your mat or something soft if you've got that. Just keep your weights to hand. I'm just going to pop my mat on here. I don't know what I've done with it, anyways. Right, so first move, we're going to do a sumo squat. So sumo squat is getting your feet really wide like a sumo wrestler and turning your toes out like that. And then you're squatting your bum down and pressing up to standing. So it's a squat, but a sumo squat. If your hips or your knees are knackered, then please do a straight leg deadlift instead. So with your weights, what you can do is a sumo, sumo squat with a high pull. So you're just going to incorporate the upper body by pulling your weight up underneath your chin. So kettlebell like that, or a dumbbell. You can use one dumbbell, pull it up like that, or two dumbbells, pull them up like that. Sumo squat with a high pull. Um, if you feel like the upper body bit's too much for you, you can just hold your weight or no weight. So sumo squat with a high pull. 10 second tra transition period. You're gonna drop down onto the mat and we're gonna do glute bridges. I'm sure everybody's familiar with these. You're lying on your back, feet are hip distance apart and your heels are dead close to your body. 
you're going to drive your hips up in the air, massive, massive squeeze on your bum, your glutes muscles, and then control it back down. So glute bridges. If you're using weights, hold dumbbells on your hip bones like that. If you're using the kettlebell, rest that in the middle on your pubic bone and go up and down. So we're starting with the 40 seconds and we're moving down to the 30, then down to the 20. Is everybody good to go? So a sumo squat with a high pull. In three, two, one, go. So it's 40 seconds this time. So we're starting off with the hardest part of the ladder. And then we're going to descend, getting easier each time. So if you've just joined in, I've seen somebody's just popped on there. I can't see what the name is. Um, we're kind of getting close to three quarters of the way through the workout now. So you're probably best to join in once I've finished the workout. I'll save the full video to the top of the page. And then you can just click on it and do the full workout then if you like. Okay? So you missed the warm up, the abs, and the upper body, and we've just started the lower body. Okay, 10 second transition period. Down on the floor, glute bridges. I'm gonna demonstrate with the kettlebell. So I'm just gonna rest it there. Two, one, go. So you're really digging the weight into your heels, driving your hips towards the ceiling. So 40 seconds of this. One big, big, big squeeze on the butt. We've already done 20 seconds. We're going to do another 20 more. Keep at it. Get your hips as high to the ceiling as you possibly can. Really utilise those butt muscles. 10 more seconds. You've got this. Come on. Last five. Go for it. And rest. Right, so we're on a 40 second rest now. And then on the next round, we're going to go into... Um, 30 seconds of the sumo squat with the high pull. Just drop the dumbbell on my toe band. That was good for some seconds. So if sumo squats don't suit your knees or hips or whatever, um, do a straight leg deadlift instead. So we've got about 10 seconds left on the rest to so get ready with your sumo squat. So sumo squat, feet are really wide and toes and feet are turned out. If you're using a weight, we're going to do a high pull on the way up. Three, two, one. So making sure when you're squatting, you're squatting really low at the bottom, okay? So your butt is getting nice and low. You're not bending over to grab that weight. You're really driving your ass towards the floor and then just pushing into your heels all the way up. So we've done 20 seconds. We're gonna do 10 more. I was thinking we were on the 40 second one again then. <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. So I'll demonstrate the glute bridge with the dumbbells this time. So five seconds, and we're going on the glute bridges. Three, two, one, go. So 30 seconds on the glute bridges now. So done 10 seconds, 20 more. Last 10 seconds, really squeeze that butt hard as you possibly can. Right up to the ceiling with the hips. Three, two, one, rest. 30 second rest. And then last round is 20 seconds of each exercise. It's getting hot in it. Okay, so sumo squats, the high pull. I'll go back to the kettlebell for demonstration purposes this time. 10 seconds left and we rest. Get ready. Go. So it's only 20 seconds now. So sumo squat, butt nice and low at the bottom. 10 more seconds on the sumo squat. It's definitely nice that coming down the ladder, they're going up the ladder, isn't it? <laughs> okay, transition period, 10 seconds, and then we're going to go into the glute bridges for 20 seconds. Get ready, 3, 2, 1, go. So we've got 20 seconds on this, and then 
finishing off this 20 second rest. So we're nearly there on the workout because once we've done this, we've just got the high intensity finisher, which is just a Tabata today. So it's only a four minute finisher. Three, two, one, rest. Right, so just have a wee rest. I'm going to give your legs a little shake out as well. Just go and drink. work 10 second rest eight rounds we're going to do four exercises and then work through those four exercises twice so the time will literally go like that you won't even realize it um, so high intensity it should do what it says on the tin it should be high intensity so she'll be working like flat out maximum capacity she should really be able to talk she should pretty much be gasping for breath at the end she should be collapsed on the floor in a heap um, I won't take it to that point for me because I've still got to talk to you and um, demo and explain the exercises. Right, so what I'll do is I'll just demonstrate the first exercise now and then in the 10 second transition period I'll just demonstrate the consecutive exercises as they go along. Right, so the first one, um, not too hard to imagine today. So imagine you're on the beach, the sand is really, really hot you try to get from your sun lounger to the bar and you forgot to put your flip flops on so you're like this so you're running on the spot and you're just lightly touching your feet on the floor almost like just up on your toes really really fast like you're scuttling along so as hard and as fast as you can swinging your arms your whole body's going to wobble it happens to everybody don't worry about that i just hope you've got a sports bra on right so 10 second countdown is on so this is called hot feet so we're going with hot feet in five seconds. Three, two, one, go, hot feet. So as hard and as fast as you can. Really, really, really speedy and really light on your feet as well. Make everything wobble. Swing your arms. A bit faster. Come on. You're nearly at the bar. Rest. Well done. Right, next one. Punches, like we did in the warm up, left foot forward, right foot back, guards high, go. So punching, hard and as fast as you possibly can. Keep your core tight, like that person's gonna punch you in the stomach at any given point. Come on, build up a bit of speed, harder, faster. Come on, get some aggression out. Rest. Right, we're going to do ground to overhead next, so you're just going to touch the ground and fling your arms overhead. A bit of a bend at the knee at the bottom. Go. So ground to overhead. It's not quite a, fro a frog jump. It's just touching the ground and then flinging overhead. Fast as you possibly can. Come on. A bit faster. Build up some more speed now. And rest. Right, last one. Sorry, burpees. So chest to floor, jump up, jump at the top, go. Remember that, jump at the top. <laughs> no slacking. Right, as fast as you can. As many burpees in the last 10 seconds, come on. Keep going. Let's do one more. And rest. Right, so we're four rounds in already. We've just got four rounds to go. Hot feet in three, two, one, go. So if you just joined in, we're at the very end of the workout. We've only got two minutes left. So you missed it, but I'm going to save it to the top of the page so you can watch and follow along the full video in your own time. rounds left. Next round is punches. Left foot forward, right foot back. Get your guard up. Get ready. Go. Punches. Hard and as fast as you can. Go for it. Really give it some effort. Flat out now. We're nearly there. Really push it. Really take it to that next level. 
faster, harder. Come on. Rest. Two rounds left. Ground overhead now. Touching the floor, flinging your arms up in the air. Three, two, one, go. Really, really speedy with this one. I want to see everybody absolutely flying through this. Come on, 10 more seconds. A bit faster. Go for it. Three, two, one. Right, last round. Give it all you've got, leave nothing behind. It's bar piece. Get ready, go. seconds on the burpees. Keep that pace going right till the end. Don't stop until I say. Nearly there. Come on. Stop. Well done, folks. So, realistically, you should be uh, collapsing some kind of sweat heap on the floor. If you've not, you didn't work hard enough. Um, I'm not as gasping for breath as I should be. I just need to be able to talk to you guys. So if I was doing that for real, I wouldn't be able to talk at this point. Um, you really wouldn't be lying on the floor just like feeling that pain going through your body, feeling sick. 